guys, and welcome to a very sunny edition of Anime Duo. I'm Cameron Morris. And I'm Jack Thomas. And uh, today we're filming with natural light instead of the studio lights we usually use. Um, what, yeah. What uh, anime are we talking about today? It's, uh, something new. We, we didn't, something we, new? We hadn't seen it. We I hadn't was, seen it, no. I was excited to watch it. Yeah. Um, we watched it. Do you remember the name? <laughs> yeah. It was called... Uh, the Goku Experience. The Goku Experience. Yeah. No, yeah. It was uh, Tokyo Ghoul. Yes, we watched Tokyo Ghoul. Yeah. Now, do you want to talk a little bit about the plot? Yeah. What happened in Tokyo Ghoul? What was it to about? <laughs> I don't know. All right, I'll talk about it. <laughs> no, no, right. Okay. So, Tokyo Ghoul is about, um, basically, it's basically our world right now. No future, no past or anything. It's kind of just yeah. our world. Except... Yeah. In uh, Japan and supposedly all around the world, yeah, but I think primarily in ghouls. Japan, there's these things called ghouls. Spooky. They're just like us, but they don't eat food, they eat humans. Human flesh. And they yeah. also have supernatural powers, so they uh -huh. have like tentacles that sometimes come out of yeah. their back. Yeah. Um, and the police hunt them, but they're not doing a very good the job with it. The CGG. The CGG. They shove so much shit down your throat in that show. <laughs> right? I watched two episodes and I was already like, I don't care. Wait, did you not watch the third? I did. I watched half. Oh. And you watched third of it. Like so okay, up. fair enough. Well, we've seen your uh, idea. Um, I think yeah, the plot, um, the plot does shove a lot down your throat, which is a yeah. problem with it, and oh, it yeah. it doesn't do it like Parasite or like no. a lot of other shows where it feeds it to you in a way that's like either funny or like works, like like you feel like oh okay, I understand why I'm saying this. Yeah. It just seems to just I, tell I, you I, it. I figured it was like having a guy who's really. I'm way too excited to tell you about the show and he's like hey look at this this is what we're doing here and oh, oh over here we got something else I'm like, mm. look at this there's like, a Whoa. I don't know how much of episode 3 you saw but there's a thing in episode 3 where um, they explain the masks where why the ghouls wear masks oh no I didn't and see that it's done really well because you have like you're like oh you have to go get a mask and then when he gets the mask he's like oh why am I wearing a mask like that's how things should be explained uh, yeah, yeah, not yeah. like episode 1 and 2 where they're just like here it is here it is watch out watch, blah, 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 blah. and it's just yeah, like yeah. so much exposition for like whereas mm. Parasite did it through the dad which felt natural. It's like you would like, yeah, oh, like look at this. Yeah, it's like world background. Yeah, it's interesting. Um, um, so I think that right. um, the plot was um, very bogged down with the exposition. The amount of it as well. Oh, what God. actually was going on? Um, it, it was interesting. You thought it was interesting? I think, I think we were kind of spoiled <laughs> because we watched Parasite, the, which uh, feels like a much better version of Tokyo Ghoul. The... the it, Sorry, the, the exact word I used to describe the story okay. was uninteresting. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this is uninteresting, this is uninteresting. I thought that I thought that it was it was interesting in the sense that like when it was presented to me, I was like, okay, I can I can I'll see where this goes. And then oh, I couldn't okay. do it. What what didn't you like about the plot? Uh, dude, just everything. I thought it was so it had so many... The concept is interesting, right? Yeah. I think the concept is okay. But it was just executed so poorly. With so much... Uh, just... The concept was very... It was almost identical to Parasite. Wouldn't you yeah, say? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Actually, I never... I didn't even draw the connection. To uh, that was kind of the reason said. I wanted to do oh. Tokyo Ghoul after this. Because mm, I wanted to kind I of see. compare is the two. Quite, yeah, right. Um, love Parasite. Finish that. Great. Never going to watch the show again. <laughs> I think the difference is is that it's going to come up in the second part because the difference between this and Parasite a, a lot of, there's a lot of differences but one of the main differences that put me off Tokyo Ghoul was the characters and I feel like we'll, when we talk yes. about the characters because that really is how you get through the show and this show is a good example of like a good concept yeah. that if you don't have good characters to back it up and good like like mm -hmm. mystery behind mm -hmm. them and stuff it just falls short mm -hmm. exactly so do you want to just jump in and talk to the characters uh, Talk to, about the characters. Oh. Let's talk uh, to the characters. <laughs> Hold on yeah. a sec. But oh, let, no, no. say you're closing. Um, right. Say some. Uh, more well, this is one scene in one of the episodes I want to bring up. That okay. I found absolutely. There were two actually. They were absolutely ridiculous. Okay. Talk about the two. So I was, two. I was. I was. Wa I was watching it, and all the way through, I was like, "This is all right. I'm not interested, but it's all right. I'll, okay. I'll power my way through it." But there were just two scenes that really blew me away. And the first one was when he finds out he's got the, uh, you know, he's a ghoul or whatever. Yeah, yeah. And he. Is eating food and it's meant to taste pungent. Like, is know, it when like, he does it again like, and again and again? Yeah, and again. yeah. And it was so ridiculous because the animation is just like, hum, 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 bleh, hum, 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 bleh. And I, I was like, yeah, okay. Because I, I, I could see where they were going with it, but I just couldn't take it seriously. It was, it was akin to the scene where, uh, uh, is it Izumi in Parasite? Yeah, yeah. Where he tries to snap his hand? Yeah, yeah. 
I think the difference is is that uh, you really get yeah you get it in that because you you get it's subtle enough. Mm. Whereas Tokyo Ghoul, I feel like it it suffers from being too oh. big at some points. It, it, like when he's like blah, 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 and he's trying to eat everything, and then he's like, "This this is my favorite food. I'm going to cook my favorite food and, and eat like, my favorite like food." The and then he cries. He's like going to eat it, and he's like. <laughs> <laughs> it is It is a bit big. What was the other scene you didn't like? Uh, uh, that bit at the end of the first episode where he's struggling with his meat eating and trying not to... He's like, if I eat meat, I won't be human anymore. Blah, blah, blah. That cliche. And then the girl is like, if you don't eat, you won't be. I won't be able to help you. <laughs> and you're like, what? And then she's like, you've got to eat. Hurry up and eat. And she grabs some meat. She runs at him and punches it into his face. <laughs> Like into his yeah. mouth and takes him down with a big clump of meat. I was watching it and I just burst out laughing. I was like, ah! I just couldn't. I, I just couldn't do it. It was a bit ridiculous. I, oh, I think man. that, um, I think there are some pr- problems in the show like that where it goes a bit too much, but I think the real downfall of the first couple of episodes were the characters. So let's right. get into that. Okay. So the characters in this show, uh, f- for me, they felt very stereotypical. Oh, yeah. I don't know about you. I don't know, I just didn't like any of them. The thing... <laughs> the thing that was such... It's so insightful. The thing about... Um, again, we keep talking about Parasite, but it is fair to compare them because really they're so similar. Good show. Here's the thing, Where right? did they go so wrong, Cam? Tokyo Ghoul <laughs> has full of characters that we've seen in every other anime. Yeah, the yeah. girl is in every other anime. And I know people are going to be like, oh, well, guys, watch a couple more episodes because mm-hmm. um, you see the characters develop. I'm like, yeah, fair enough. But I if think, they don't grab you at the beginning, exactly. I think that's the should, point of this show. This, like, should, <laughs> this, should, this should be a good bit of development early on. Yeah. And the character learns at least one thing. Well, because the pilot episode is supposed to be like, an, it should stand alone. It should be hmm. excite you to see more, yeah, but yeah. it should stand alone. Be Whereas I feel like... Story like this episode, it ends with the meat shove. <laughs> and oh God, you just... The meat shove. <laughs> you don't feel like any of these characters are really anything original. No, I mean, no. you've got... So you've got the main character who feels like every other... Oh, I hate him so much. He doesn't feel like he has a he just... view. He, with, the, with the character in Parasite, within the first two episodes, you get that he's conflicted and then he's like, yeah. oh, maybe this guy just seems to be like, I'm really hungry. I don't want to eat <laughs> yeah, meat. That's like... I'm really hungry. <laughs> I don't want to eat meat. I'm like, yeah, we fucking get it. But yeah, talk it was, about it was, something. It was, it was over and over, wasn't it? Yeah. Every time he's thinking, I'm going to eat it now. And then, no, I need to be human. It's fine to say, I'm going to eat it now. No, I need to be... It's like, we know. And you know what was really interesting was you had the Miggy character. Yeah. You had the girl... Oh, that, in his the, head. Oh, right, in right. the head and yeah, the yeah. organs that he had. Yeah. They could have played with that and they could have had, like, a dialogue, but instead she just shows up to torture him and yeah. hug him and grope yeah. him in I weird mean, ways. I mean, it's, it's, it was weird. I, I, I don't know. Them scenes seem to be, like, you know, here's some symbolism to what he's going through mentally, but it just felt really... It feels like they didn't do anything with it. Yeah. It feels like they had it. and, and were, like It was like he'd already said it to himself and then comes the symbolism to like explain it again in a different way. So you're like, all right, you've already explained it, but now you're trying to go about it a different way. Just to... And you know what was really annoyed me about the character of the main character? The character <laughs> of the main good... character. It makes <laughs> sense, but it's weird. <laughs> okay, um, right. You yeah. have this build up with episode one and two yeah. where he's trying not to eat meat and he mm-hmm. says it again and again. I don't want to eat meat, but I need to eat meat. I don't want to eat meat. Yeah. He said it again and again and again. And it feels like he's building to something. And when he finally eats meat, it's not, not only good, do we not just... see him do it, but it's forced on him when he's asleep. Like, they could have at least paid all that fucking... Uh, like, they, they In, keep doing that and that like, and that. Like, they like, could have paid it off with him finally going, ah, I need to eat I, meat. I, I thought... He was just gonna. I thought the show was gonna be really crazy, and he was just gonna get this power and like kill everyone he knows. And that would have been like, yeah, that would have been cool, all right? Because no, no shows do that anymore, really. But I don't know. They just seem to go about it weird ways. No, and the main girl, I didn't like her. The only wait, character wait, wait. I liked was his friend. Oh, because his, he seemed like he had some depth to him. His friend was, uh, yeah, yeah, but he. I wrote, his friend is just a good guy. No more depth. <laughs> No, I would disagree with you there because there's that whole thing where he knows what's going on. What do you mean? What's like, right? it's implied that he's like Aunt May in Amazing Spider-Man oh, where oh, he's really? like, oh. I, something's going on because I'm a right, good friend. Right. I'm not going to say anything. Right, right, right. And he's okay. like, I don't want to pry. Right, okay. But even when you like um, he's in the hospital that. and he's like, I came to visit you a bunch of times and you always turned me away but I still stayed your friend. I was like, there's something deeper. Like, he's got like a cool character. But Maybe other than that... something cool would come about him later, but... Like, he was the only... If, if every character oh. was like him, I would keep watching. Just remembered. What? 
The fights in that show are ridiculously They're weird. Boring. I, like, They're weird. Like, when he, like, kicks his friend, he goes flying down the car. It's just funny. It it's made like... me laugh. And I feel like, I thought it was supposed to make me laugh, but then I, I realised it I wasn't. And, and I was like, like this is be, not good. It's meant to show that they're really powerful, but it just looks like everybody's made out of paper. And, and when just... he when his friend wakes up and is like, I just got into an accident. I'm like, no, you got kicked. <laughs> Like a thousand <laughs> miles, you wouldn't think. <laughs> I'm sure you'd remember being kicked by this guy. Oh, um, but yeah, I, the characters. I mean, I think we can agree that they they were just lazy. Very lazy. Yeah. Everybody was. That guy who was really secretive with the glasses. Who's like, and then he's like creeps up on him and he's like says I don't even something. Want to talk to him. Uh, he's just weird. I don't know. Just no good. No good. So what did you feel about the uh, the animation and audio? Let's just do animation first. Let's go animation. What do you oh, feel about animation? The animation was great. I didn't like the characters a whole lot. I thought yeah. the characters looked a bit like everything else. But the sort of sets um, and, the, and the environments they're in looked very much like their own pieces of art. Yeah, it like, looked cool. Mm, when they're in the cafe where like the hideout is, I don't know. I didn't pay any attention <laughs> to the story. I don't even know what was going on. There was so much they wanted me to care about. Um, I'm just like, I, I only have so much care to give. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly, man. Um, but, I mean, uh, I don't know. It, 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 looked, it looked really good. Yeah, it looked really good. I think one yeah. of the interesting things, like you say about the characters, I feel like the characters were just kind of standard. Yeah. But one of the interesting things they did was um, with the ghouls. I think that effect was really the, cool. The with, eyes. like, the eye. Yeah, like I, like, the, I quite like that. The, like, not only is it, like, the eye is red, but it, like, breaks the skin as well, mm. and you've got, like, the red yeah. bits that come down. And then I also liked um, what little we saw of it. I liked the whole tentacle thing. I like the right, didn't it? it wasn't too bad. Like. I like the idea that they all have different colors and stuff, yeah, which is pretty, never explained. Even though everything cool. else is shoved down our throats, they never shoved down. Oh, by the way, something interesting. <laughs> yeah, something, something, something interesting is never exposition. I think that um, oh, the the one thing that falls short is the body horror aspect. This really feels like you know it's it's a body yeah, horror. I never anime. felt. I never felt any kind of horror like that. You it know? it I just. Never, it's it's just I think Parasite does. It. Yeah, yeah, I think Parasite does it well because it shows you. Whereas Tokyo Ghoul. It felt like it was adopting the whole don't show because no, then it'll be imagine. scarier. But then Wait, they show sometimes. I just remembered. What the hell was up with that blue ass scene where everything went blue? Do you remember that? Where he went uh, nuts? What was that? I assume that means he's really hungry. <laughs> <laughs> well, like he was supposed to be really hungry the entire time. But that was like really hungry. <laughs> like, <laughs> like everything turned blue and I was like, well, I guess he's super hungry now because it's blue and You're blue right. is the color of hunger. Right. Yeah, blue is the color of hunger. That was just ridiculous. I feel like what we're annoying for? Why? Does that happen all through the show? Because people are going to have some serious like, whoa, blue again. <laughs> it's so bright and all the blood is like, like it's like a backlight shining it on some teenager's bedroom. Oh. And it's just everywhere. Blood. I and thought it's that, blue. I, I, I thought it all it, it feels like the artists were like uh, doing a good job of drawing but the people telling them what to draw were not the best <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. but yeah I thought the audio animation was alright the audio didn't stand out to me um, I had no problems with it I like was trying to purposely listen up for it and usually if it's really good I'll notice it and if it's really really good I won't notice it but then I'll Pick up on it later. Yeah, but I was trying to listen out for it, and it sounded whatever. I it was it was alright. It did the job. It didn't do anything that I felt was really good, like uh, no, Parasite. I did. like Parasite a lot compared to this. Actually, I didn't think much of it when I watched Parasite, but thinking back, the audio on that's yeah. actually pretty, pretty, pretty cool. So yeah, I think that's uh, pretty much. Let's go into uh, overall then. Let's do it. So overall, what I feel like I feel <laughs> like we've spent most of this so, time. All right, go on. <laughs> Continue. I'll start again. <laughs> <laughs> you better cut this out because I know you have a habit of not cutting this. Keep this in, man. This is... All right, fuck it. Right. Um, <laughs> so overall, um, I think I feel <laughs> like I've downed this anime a lot because you were all on the, the down parade and my flag I was ready to spike it in the head. <laughs> I think that um, I don't think I disliked it as much as you. Like, what, what, what was your major... If you could say, like, uh, porn person who's like, I really want to watch Tokyo Cool, and you're like, don't watch it. And then like, what no, would be, like, the one thing I, that you tell them? Dude, there's nothing direct that I didn't like about it. I just didn't like everything about it. I thought it was so boring and just... Just boring. It's it's so been there, done that, and I've watched so much better things, you know? I've watched, I've watched like... Like, compare this to Kids on the Slope and how Kids on the Slope makes you feel, right? I would they, disagree can't, that they can't, you can't really compare that. I are going to say prefer it to Kids on no, the Slope. No, no, fuck you. No. <laughs> I would disagree that you can compare those because they're so different. Just because yeah, they're both animes. But, but, right, right. But at the end of the day, when you watch a piece of media, you enjoy it, right? Yeah. For a reason. Did you enjoy yeah. this for a reason? I enjoyed it for a reason. What did you enjoy? I enjoyed it because I felt like it was, um, it was, it was, it was exciting and I felt like it might be going somewhere. <laughs> 
That's not good enough. <laughs> That's why I'm going to give it the score that I'm going to give. But I don't feel like I was. I, w- I feel like I'd watch one more episode. You'd watch if, one more episode. My brothers are like, oh, get to episode five. Oh yeah. So okay. I would not watch till episode five. Okay, if you've got, if you've like, got it, it's not that bad you. that I would be like. Oh, I don't know if I'm watch it. Oh, I'm but I'm definitely it. not going to watch till episode five until I finish Parasite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, watch Parasite first. Parasite's great. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, I felt that just main guy was just really... Because obviously you need to relate to the main character to some degree in a show. You, yeah, yeah one, you need to either relate to him you or like, like, you cool, see like, where he's coming from. Yeah, 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 and you can, you know, get on board with what he's doing. But this guy was just whiny McGee and just didn't <laughs> stop whining. And I was just like, I, like, like my biggest reason why I didn't like this show is because, right, as you know, I've, I've, I've read a lot of Berserk and I watched some of the movies, yeah. right? And Guts is a very much character who, um, has a very dark, um, sort of beast mode kind of thing, yeah. but it's not cliche Sean and it's very much like, all he does is sword fight, so he's going to be tough. Yeah. But when he gets mad, it's Claw terrifying. He <laughs> <laughs> just looks demonic. He's drawn like a demon and yeah. it's cool, but... Taking everything blue and having this pussy ass character who's just so I don't know, I just I thought he was really See, I don't my my main issue with the, the show was that it was it felt like it was trying too hard to be something it wasn't. Yeah, yeah, totally. It was trying yeah. too hard to be really deep when really all it should have been about uh, was the whole like what I... hunger thing. It, they could have like focused on the hunger issue and be, and had that just be the plot. But they had to bring in the police oh, and the yeah. guy with the briefcase it, it, yeah, who cuts that? people who, in half. Who is that? He's nuts. He doesn't even look like a ghoul. I, I was hoping, I started the show and they show that scene at the start where you don't know what's going on. And I was like, all right, cool. If this show just shows me loads of things, I don't know what's going on. I'll watch it because it's interesting yeah. and ran and sort of you know spontaneous. But then they started trying to explain a lot and I really bogged it down. And I was sort of very much, you know. I think that exposition, exposition, <laughs> exposition is fine. You yeah. could have explained all that shit if you just did it in a better way. Oh yeah, totally. Yeah, like, like did it in a more interesting, in a more interesting way like, that wasn't just like, oh hey, by the way, blah 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 blah. Uh, and he started being a waiter. What happened there? I, d- I, don't <laughs> I didn't even. Yeah. Don't, all right. You know what? We're gonna talk about the show too much if we keep complaining. <laughs> Overall, I would give this show about a six. So it's I I I feel high. like I need to revise my high. my sword out online because you like sword out because I feel like no sword out online and this are about the same about the same yeah and I give that a higher score so about a six I'd give this a six I I'd, I'd watch up to episode five because people keep telling me to but mm. you know what would I you think, give it I think I don't know I think these them two shows are very similar in they they don't know what they want to be mm. I don't know which one I disliked more. Very difficult. Um, well, you give Sword Art Online, I think, like a zero. Because I was like, what did you feel about it? And then you were like, oh, did I give it a five? No, I give it a zero. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, so I'd give this a zero to me. <laughs> no, I mean, I don't know. I, you I like the know. art. I like the art. One. You give it a one. I give it a one. You give me. it a one. Out, well, of, out of the first three episodes, well, the two and a half episodes I watched, I didn't even finish three. So I think I just want to say quickly, this is a good example of like um, why we only watched the first couple because you want to give like a you give a good impression, and if you oh can't yeah. give a good impression, then it doesn't yeah. matter how good the show is. Yeah, people well, are going to well, stop. Happens after the show might be the best show. Ever, yeah, but it right? starts boring. Yeah. So yeah, so shouldn't have started boring. If you wanted to be the best boring, show yeah, ever, it's got to start shouldn't have started bo- boring on a, on a high kicking note, you know. Um, but tell us what you think in the the below, and we're going to find out what we watch next month. What are we going to watch? All right, so Jack Thomas, I've asked you to choose what to watch next next month because usually I choose. Um, um, and uh, yeah, I'm excited to hear. So, what is it going to be? What are we going to watch next next week? Next week, next week, next, next month. month, next month, we're going to watch my favorite anime ever, ever, The Lion King. <laughs> Three. <laughs> The one with Timon and Pumpa, where they go back in... Wait, do they? I don't know. <laughs> no! <laughs> I don't think they go back... Wait, do they? I don't know. I think maybe. they do. I don't, I don't know, know if Timon Sorry. and Pumpa go back in time, but I think the movie... Listen, it doesn't matter! <laughs> right, what are no, we watching? Okay, we're gonna watch... I wanna watch with you, man. Princess Mononuki. You wanna watch Princess Mononuki? It's not my favourite Ghibli, but it's the one I got the most to say about, so... I feel like I've got the most to say about that, too. Oh, yeah? Cool. Yeah. It's interesting. Let's do it. All right, so we're gonna watch uh, Princess Mononoke. Okay, next month we'll uh, we'll talk about it. Now this will be interesting because it's a movie, so we won't like review the first ten minutes or anything. Mm. It's gonna be the full, full movie. Full, full, full so it might be a little bit of a longer episode. Maybe it'll be shorter. I don't know. Who knows? But uh, yeah, check that next month on Anime Duo. Yeah.
yeah, check it out, guys. Bye. Oh, jeez. Oh, hey, guys. Yeah, they're gone. Okay. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, um, yeah, we've, we've got tons more. You can, you can watch them. You can uh, like, subscribe, favorite. All, all that shit. Um, you know, it's it's good. It, it, you know, do, do I. We got t-shirts as well. Buy the t-shirts because I, I think I'm going to...